What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in this video I'll show you how to recover your MacBook's password. Whether you have a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, a MacBook uh, 2020, a MacBook 2019, 2016, it works on any MacBook model. This is a very very simple and convenient process and official from uh, 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 Apple guidelines themselves. So we'll be following everything from Apple's guidelines. It's everything uh, super, super official and safe. This is a process that is really, really quick. And most importantly, you won't lose any data on your MacBook. So all your data is gonna be 100% safe on your MacBook. In this channel, I talk about a lot of tech hacks and a lot of tech fixes. So if you're into tech content, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's the concept of this channel. It's also very important for you not to skip this video because if you skip this video, you might miss a very important step in the middle of the process. And this might affect you at the end of this tutorial. You might miss a very important step in the middle of the process and consequently, you might not achieve the desired solution by the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started. So the very first thing which is very, very important is that the MacBook needs to be yours or at least you need to have access to your iCloud account. You'll understand why throughout the video. We basically have two different ways of achieving this solution, okay, which is to recover our Mac's password. I'll be covering both of the methods in this video so you do not need to worry. You'll be able to perform this regardless of your MacBook model. So the very first thing we need to do is basically try to log in to your MacBook, okay? Try to log in to your MacBook uh, user. I'll try to log in, as you guys can see, I've got my user in here, and I'll type a random password. Let's say anything I'm gonna type. I'll tap on enter, and then we'll get this little shaking here on our MacBook, which says that the password was wrong. We need to type it for a second time, a random password. We tap on enter. It shakes once again because the password is wrong. Next up, we need to try it one more time. Type a random password, tap on enter, and then you're going to get the shaky response, and then you're going to get a small notification in here. In my case, because I've got an old Mac book, it says password hint, which is really nice. This is the password hint that I've submitted to my MacBook when I first attributed a password to my MacBook. In my case, I only have this notification, but in a few MacBook models, in new MacBook models, newer versions, you'll have another option in here downstairs, which says recover your password or forgot your password. Something like that is gonna appear down here. If you don't see, try clicking on this little uh, question mark in here to see if it shows a second option. In my case, it does not show, but if you have a different model that shows, just tap on that button and it's gonna take you to a new window, okay? And if you have an older version such as mine, I'll be showing it to you right now how to get to that particular window that the newer models are able to reach to by tapping on this button, which is not available in here. So if you have a newer model, just tap on that button and wait for a couple of seconds. Let me just show real quick how people with an older version of Mac can also reach to that window so that we can proceed to the rest of the video together. So in my case, the very first thing I need to do because I have a, an old version of Mac, I need to shut down my MacBook. That's the very first thing. I just tapped right there on shut down to shut down my Mac. Okay, it takes a few seconds to shut it down. Boom, it's now 100% complete shut down. Now, what I need to do is just turn on my MacBook by holding the power button, the command button, and the R button. Okay, so let me just tap, press on these three buttons and keep on holding them. Let me just keep on pressing them until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, you're gonna release your buttons, okay? So now we're processing, it's processing, it's gonna take you a few seconds, a couple of seconds, okay? If the MacBook is really old, it's gonna take you a few more couple seconds to process, okay? All you need to do is just wait for a couple seconds. Boom, and here we go. We've got Mac OS Utilities window popped. Up, okay new MacBook users just wait for a little longer we'll get there to that window where you're actually waiting for us to continue with this tutorial old MacBook users the next thing we need to do is go straight here into utilities on the top left corner and then we're gonna tap here on terminal which is the third 
option okay forget about the mac os utilities window right there right here on terminal we're gonna type reset pass word okay do not worry i've written this command in the description box below as well this is how it should look like reset password once that's done we're gonna tap on the enter button on our macbook enter and then immediately a new window is gonna pop up so we're gonna close this terminal window right here by tapping on the x a button in the top left corner and we'll be having reset password window right here so this is the window it's now processing just needs to wait for a couple seconds it's loading all the files on our macbook and once that's done this is the page this is the window that you'll be looking at okay so we've got choose the problem you're having when logging in you need to tap here select the i forgot my password which is the very first option and then you're gonna tap on next to go to the next step now this is exactly the window that you're probably looking at if you have a newer macbook model so new macbook model users you can now continue all this tutorial from this step right here okay you can now follow everything with us so from here all you need to do is first log in to your apple id so you need to type in here your apple id let me type my apple id real quick the apple id which was actually connected to this particular macbook that's why i said that you need to be the owner of the macbook let me just type it real quick okay i've already typed my uh, apple id email i'm gonna tap on next okay once again and then it's gonna ask me to type my password in here okay so here there's an option to write my password let me just type my apple id password real quick so i've already typed my apple id's password the next thing we need to do is tap here on next in order to continue the process now you probably are going to receive a notification on your device which is connected to this particular iCloud account, your phone, your iPad, if you've got uh, two-factor authentication turned on. So what you need to do is just type the code which is shown on your mobile or iPad device or any Apple device. I've already typed here the authentication code and it's now recovering the file vault key all you need to do in here is just wait for a few seconds now the next thing you need to do is just tap the user where you want to reset the password for so i'll tap on this account which is this one the one that i want to reset the password for and then i'll tap here on next after selecting now the next procedure is to type your new password carefully okay so you need to decide the password that you want to attribute to this particular user please be really really careful so you do not forget your password again okay let me just type my password and then you need to come to the second box right here and repeat that particular password let me just type it once again and then you need to add a password hint password hint is basically something that is going to remind you about your password every time you try to log in and you mismatch your password let's say you forget your password you need a hint to make you remember about that particular password okay let me just type anything in here new password that's my hint <laughs> i'll tap here on next and then we've got your file vault volume password has been reset you may reboot and unlock the disk using your new password you then need to tap here on restart and your macbook is going to restart one more time automatically here we go our macbook is now restarting and it's back on now let me just uh, tap on the user that i've just reset my password and log in with my new password okay let me just log in and here we go it's now processing it's logging in really quickly very 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 convenient method of recovering your macbook's password we still have one more step in here which is left so you need to wait for a little longer let's just uh, wait for this uh, bar in here to process to complete its loading uh, procedure
it's almost done we just need to wait for a few more seconds and here we go our macbook is now fully turned on and even i have my auto software is here launching already so let me just close all this uh, automatic softwares okay let me just close this voice over and whatever 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 so the last step that i wanted to talk to you guys about is that it's very common for your MacBook to just launch a pop-up or something requesting you to log in to your iCloud account. It's normal, it's now not showing, but it might show it on your MacBook. All you need to do is just log into your iCloud if that particular pop-up shows up to you. That's because Apple has a lot of security measures and they just wanna make sure that it's you actually trying to recover your machine, your MacBook or your Mac, um, anything you have which is related to Apple devices, okay? So this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you think that this video was really, really helpful to you. It helps me by leaving a comment down below. You're actually helping this channel to grow, to get recommended here on the platform so that I can reach out to more people and help more people with this tutorial. Let's help out more people with the same problem as yours. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one.